Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle SBA's Calc Scripts. We're going to use the data export command to export to a relational database. The data export can be used to export data to a text file, a relational table, or to a binary file format. In another video, we cover those other formats, but in this one, we're going to cover a relational table. So to use data export to export data to an existing relational table, and the keyword there is existing, we simply say at the beginning, DSN, that's for data source name, then we have to give it an actual data source name, the table within that data source name, our username and our password. So DSN name is something that must be defined in the odbc.ini file on the SBase server. Table name is an existing table with existing columns. We can't have a space in the table name or in the field column names, it freaks out when it sees that. Username and password is a login that has insert rights to whatever that table name actually is. Now, the way it inserts data into that table is a little different. On 64-bit SBase, I have no idea why, but the inserts are done row by row. On 32-bit SBase, it does a batch insert if you tell it to. So by default, it'll do row by row, but you can actually use the data export enable batch insert command to have it do it essentially as a large group instead of row by row. But again, doesn't work on 64-bit SBase. So the key commands we're probably going to use for a relational table are what level we want to export, do we want to export dynamic calc members, do we want to have it create or not create existing blocks when it exports, what are the decimals, what's the precision. We might do some sort of conditional export to not export the data unless it meets some sort of value condition. But the key part is data export DSN. So let's go through a few examples of how this actually works. Oh, please don't tell anybody that my login is admin, my password is password. So we're going to export data to the EDW data source. That does not stand for Edward, by the way. That's Enterprise Data Warehouse. We're going to export data to the DSN source called EDW, Enterprise Data Warehouse. It's going to go to the table called Extract Data. Login is admin, password is password. Now, maybe we don't want to hard code our username and password into the script. Well, we could put in substitution variables and then set the substitution variable for our username and password, run the script, and then clear out the substitution variables. So they're only stored for the duration of this script. We might say data export DSN EDW extract data. Then the way we pull in those substitution variables is we do an ampersand username to get the username substitution variable, then an ampersand password to get the password substitution variable. Now in our case, our username is Samir and our password is the animator. We are going to export now a subset of our data to a specific table. So not a whole database, but a portion of the database. So we're going to take just the Texas data, and there's a table out there called TXEXT. So our data source is EDW, the table is TXEXT, username admin, password, password. Now let's say we're going to do something really big. We want to take all of the cola products in our whole database. So we're going to do set update calc off, so it operates on every block, not just the dirty blocks. We're going to set the data export options, just a few of them. We're going to export all the level zero data, only the stored members, not the dynamic calcs. We're going to truncate all those extra decimals and only export two decimals. Down below, we're going to do a fix on at children of colas, so every product underneath colas. We're going to export it to that same data source name, EDW, but a different table, in this case, creatively called cola. Cola TBL, username, admin, password, password. 